Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Wirecut Tutorials and Toolpath Series. In the Wirecut, we already create four different number of exercise where we learn about that how we can create a part in a wire cut in a proper and perfect way. So in this video, I am going to show you that how we can create a four axis, a complete four axis toolpath in a wire cut, and what are the different steps and the important parameter that we have to cover during that one then so as you can see here in this part that we are make this component with the help of 4 axis wire cut and the reason behind that because that gear is not in a normal form this so that's the reason it's required a complete 4 axis movement in a wire cut machine where the u v u v and x y both have to be work separately so as you can see in this one part here you can see the tool path in a 2d backplot way that how my upper upper area and lower area it means uv axis as well as the xy axis consistently moving continuously or that's make a complete very hug, a smooth tool path on a wire cut so in this video i am going to show you that how you can create that part perfectly and what are the different steps in a proper and perfect way so let me start to create that how we can create that one part and what are the different and very important thing that we have to cover when we are working on a proper and perfect wire cut tool path so when we are working on a wire cut tool path there are a the lot of things that you have to keep in mind that should be perfect and perfect proper way so as you can see here this is my part that we need to create a wire cut tool path so first thing I have to came in view and just turn on WCS. For example, this part I just open and this part is in that one position. So first thing that I have to do that I have to go in a transform. I have to say align to plane just like this one and we can mark anything. And now we have to set this part in the top middle of my part and just say OK and then top so as you can see here I am just set my component in proper and perfect way so this is the first thing that we have to do once we do that thing successfully so when we are talking about the wire cut so one of the most important thing in a wire cut that you have to select the chain in proper and perfect way so for creating a tool path in wire cut we need this one model two areas the first thing is upper area for upper face chain the second thing is lower face chain and the one thing that I also need that a connecting line so for creating that one I have to came in level and make a number once I define the level 2 after that I have to came in wire cut curve, curve on all is the upper is and the lower is and just say and select it. so once I select this one after that I have to define again curve on edge so once I select curve on edge, I have to define a this one line. And once I define a line, I can make this that one as well as I change the color of this line. So now the color the color changing and thickness is not required. I just change this color line color and uh, the thickness to understand for myself in a proper and easy way. Now for creating a tool path, I can remo remove the model of my part. So for that one. I select the wireframe area and just press Alt E. So as you can see here, the gear portion which is connected and the helix angle. To describe that one, I have a one proper and perfect line. So now I can start to create a tool path for that one component. So for creating a tool path for that one component in Wirecut, I have to came in a machine, select a Wirecut machine and just press default. Once I select the machine, after that I have to came in a parameter and after that I can define the stock. For defining this stock, I have to came in a cylinder Z and press all entity just say OK. So as you can see, this is my raw material for that one part. If I just want to make turn off my raw material visibility, so I can just click on this and still my raw material is defined, but its display is just off. Now I have to create the tool path for the four axis. For creating a four axis tool path, I have to came in a four axis tool path, and once I click on a four axis tool path, I need a proper point. A thread point where the wire is going to be entered so I do not define create yet a thread point so for the creating that thread point I have to came in a wireframe 
click on a point click a thread point and just define a point near to this workpiece and just say ok once I click a thread point after that again I have to came on a 4axis toolpath in a selection first thing that you have to choose that is called a point you have to choose a point in proper and perfect way and you have to define this is my point once I define point after that you have to define the chain here you have to define the chain upper as well as the lower chain for example for this one chain I just define this chain in this direction and just this and the second chain that you have to choose properly that should be from this one position because here are the both point should be the same so always keep in mind that should be always same if you are not defining that one thing in a proper and perfect way so in that condition that is a possibility there are a lot of issues will be created so now as you can see here I just define the chain and just press ok and as you can and yes but still my toolpath is not going to be created so what we have to do to make the changes now let we have to understand for understanding that one thing I have to press rechain all I have to came in this one in the place of entity you have to press the branch just press ok again you have to play click on a point this is my first point the second thing that I have to define this is my first chain and this is my second chain and now you have to press just ok and again you have to press ok and now you can make a toolpath regeneration so once I regenerate this toolpath so as you can see here this is a perfect and proper toolpath which is created properly on a wire cut module in a master cam now we can understand about each and every single parameter in a detail about wire cut that what are the different parameters available in the wire cut the one of the most important thing when we are talking about the wire cut that is chain selection when we are selecting a chain so that in that condition many times we make multiple mistakes now let we let we have to understand what are the mistakes that we made and what is the issue and what kind of tool path that I made for example I have to came in a wireframe I have to just uh, press the setting and make sure always synchronization should be branch now I have to first select define the branch point now I just define the chain should be this and lower chain should be this for example I define the both chain upper and lower but both the direction are different the point position are different and now I press ok so now what will they happen in this condition as you can see here this is my wire cut toolpath as you can see here this toolpath is performing in a very opposite and different way because the both of wires are just working in a very different way so that may be possible so that is not a very good toolpath that is not a good toolpath I can't say very good toolpath so you all always keep in mind that when you are defining the chain so that time you have always defined the point first that you have to define the thread point after that you have to define the point line or chain that this is the lower chain starting point should be this and reference and direction should be this and for the upper chain the starting point should be this and starting direction should be this and just press ok ok and regenerate so that's the first important thing that you have to keep in mind that when we are working on 4 axis in a wire cut after that you have to came in a parameter once you came in a parameter so all parameters should be same as the previous where you have to define the diameter of and all these things in a cut parameter you have to you can define a uh, rough cut if you need a finish cut you can define here finish pass and if you want to make a reverse so you can define here in a tab you can define you have three number defined num different kind of options in a first you can define a equal xy distance for the tab if you select proportional so that that time you will get only xy tab width and if you want to independently define upper and lower so you can define the xy value differently and uv value differently mostly you are trying to use uh, equal if you want to make a finish pass after completing of the rough pass you can just just click on after the scheme pass after the tab pass 
after completing of this you can this is the compensation if you want to make a stop condition when you turn on the tab pass that time that should be on that we already learned in the all the previous tool path after that lead in lead out that you can understand in a wire cut always keep in mind when we are working on a wire cut so in a lead in lead out you can use only line and line method or only arc only method you can't use line and arc or arc and line and arc and two lines this option you never can use in four axis after that here are the all the different options and now let we have to talk about the four axis page in a four axis page you have the multiple different options but when we are talking about the four axis you not required to define any kind of options or here because at here i already defined the synchronization operation synchronization option during the selection portion in h here there are the two option in a format it means the first four axis taper and direct four axis that is uh, make effect during the nc output when we are selecting the four axis taper it means your nc output will came all in the line format in a small small and when you are defining the direct four axis it means your nc output will came at uh, arc as well as the line and that we can make the modification in the post modification so that's the thing and the remaining all parameters should be the like as the same if you want to make some extra distance for the rapid or you can you want to define the extra distance for the rapid height you can define that at here and till till this point you don't require to add on any extra parameter right at here so that is all about the wire cut 4 axis tool path where you have all the things controlled in proper and perfect way and you can create a very good and perfect tool path on a wire cut module so i would like to show you the simulation of that one part so for that one i have to click on a verify and now have a look this is your simulation so as you can see here this is the four axis tool path simulation in proper and perfect way and i would like to show you this tool path simulation in a two different way this is in isometric and this is in a front view so as you can see here this is a perfect and a proper way to create a well and good established tool path on a wire cut module with the help of mastercam so if you have a good skill in a wire cut if you have a good skill so you can easily create a very good and beautiful tool path with the help of mastercam so this is all about that how you can create a perfect tool path on a wire cut so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video where we learn a lot of new things and lot of new about the mastercam so keep learning keep watching